What's good, YouTube? This is watching Watch back with another video for you guys. And hey, the new patch finally has dropped. Now, remember when I told y'all last Saturday when we had the whole spill with the showdown messing up? And a couple days after that, you know, I told LD, I said, man, look, people have been talking about this lineup, which I need to get fixed. ASAP. Hey, all I can say is, bro, he held it down. We got it fixed before the showdown this weekend. So hopefully that with that being fixed, that the lineup glitch we're gonna see a lot of people stumble within this showdown so i hope y'all got y'all team ready hope y'all didn't invest and go out and just splurge all your mt on trying to get y'all lineup to be very cheesy by glitching it with just having straight small forwards to centers because uh y'all back to them pgs now baby on your bench and i know y'all struggling out there but like i said for those i seen i did see a couple questions that people ask because when, after the update when you do put your bench in the coach kind of messes up the changes of how you want your bench so i'm just going to show you guys a simple way so that way you can go ahead and utilize to be able to put in the players that you want to have however you want pretty much so all you got to do is go to line of management go to your team itself and you're going to go to coaching right now i don't know if you guys ever use this feature but this is a dope feature that they utilize in the game coach game plan switch it over to on the fly lineups now what this is is you know how when you bring up the substitution menu you have the starters the bench you have tall you have three pointers you have defense right so you just want to go ahead and select either one of these um what i do for my bench i put it i just put it as quick so this is my bench right here all you got to do is replace the players and they actually stay within the limitations see i can't put a small forward because you can't line up glitch out this one <laughs> y'all better stop trying to cheese so pretty much you can set the players in the positions of what you want and this could be your bench that way you don't have to click bench and then it's going to automatically adjust your lineup based upon overall and stats and they put it in automatically for you you can manually make your liner for the bench so that way you, you won't be out there trying to just press 30,000 buttons to put in a player. I mean, I could do that all day. I can easily put in, I want this player to come in, I want that player to come in, and so forth. But if you want to go ahead and just to keep certain adjustments and make it quicker for you, you go to on the fly lineups, pick any one of, one of these selections between quick, tall, defense, and three point, and you'll make your bench in a sense as well. Um, also, like I stated before, I appreciate you guys has been watching and showing me love um, throughout TikTok, throughout Twitch throughout the streams youtube and all that good stuff bro so it's like as we keep growing like i said you push me up keep pushing the content um you guys let me know what, what else you want to see and you know i am dropping like playbook videos um and so forth uh, like i said this lineup glitch is a big one and i know a lot of people been having uh questions about hey man are they gonna fix the um indicator because i you know i, I hate playing people without indicators now one thing i had mentioned about that is indicators right they made a feature within the game customize hud for you to be able to utilize for you to customize how you want your gameplay to be for yourself right so i doubt that they might take a look into that to further try to fix that i don't know if they do maybe it'd be a thing of they might just show a name because you can hide pretty much everything you can hide every single thing uh, when it comes to indicator and as that advanced that sounds if you're that good to where you know who you're controlling and who you're playing with bro that's just another that's another level another step i get especially being able to play defense on players like that that's just another level another step so at the end of the day you know you'll get used to it right um because people tend to want to be able to say hey and this is what i keep reverting back to people it's just like saying when somebody gets mad and be like man you play like a b because you run plays so you want me to play like everybody else for you meaning if somebody turns their cut their indicators off you want them to have their indicators on for you right make that make sense so you mean that so pretty much you're saying is hey you have your indicator on so i can see who you're playing with on defense just don't even worry about that just keep busting people a's bro just keep on going to work doing what you got to do at the end of the day and that's what really matters because you focusing on the wrong thing you know it's like and that's why i tell people like the way your game is is the way your game is the way my game is, is the way my game is whether you love it whether you hate it most a lot of people love my game most a lot of people hate when they play me not to say that they hate my game they just know that how they know how skilled and they know how much i can get off with my success on my plays so at the end of the day Hey, hey, if somebody said to pick and roll a thousand times throughout the entire game, that's all I got to guard. 
That's all I got to guard. That's all my mind is focused on. But when somebody got some plays, and I'm not saying just one play. I'm talking about a whole selection of plays. You got to show me different stuff. Like, of course, if I show you one play, you're going to get used to it. I got to show you something else because you never know what you're going to hit unless you're studying. And you're like, oh, bro, I know when he does this. I know when he does that. But like I said, uh, the customized indicator HUD feature, I doubt that they might take that off. Um, at first, I wasn't a big fan of it. But then I was like, you know what? it does it matter to me not really but so what i did was i just made mine into a small circle that way i can be able to see it for myself i don't know if it's noticeable anybody else don't know but you know i took off my name i took off the the I took off my name and everything else besides leaving the the meter but at the same time it works for me man this is what works for me what works for you how do you guys feel about this let me know in the comment section below but like i said i just wanted to let you guys know um in regards to the on the fly lineups how to make it easier for yourself when in, in regards to doing that remember like i said go line up management go here go to coaching go to coach game plan and on the fly lineups be able to change your bench to make sure that you're able to utilize quick access features in the game so that way you're not sitting there trying to substitute one player at a time i'm here for y'all i'm trying to help y'all out but um also as well as in like i said showdown is saturday once again hopefully we don't have the same issue as last saturday so what i might do is i might wake up a little bit early and play five games before i heard that somebody said they played five games right before showdown so and that's how they was able to play but i've been playing all week so hey because they said after friday it resets the stuff so you know make sure y'all play y'all five games right before saturday or right on, like on saturday but wake up a little early play five games when your five games and you know just so that way you can be ready to go because like i said last week man big shout out to jb but man if only i had the on start time to get going bro it was locked it was loaded but this is where i already signed out with another one man make sure you like subscribe comment